In our feature story today, Farm Week's Amy Taylor says peanuts are still a new crop to some Mississippi farmers, but it's one that's going to be here a while. Amy? Artists, some Mississippi farmers who are looking to diversify their crops and become more profitable are seeing new opportunities in growing peanuts. In recent years, Mississippi Peanut Growers Association has been working with the National Peanut Board to promote peanuts through research, marketing, and educational efforts. Don Self of Hamilton says his family operation, Self Farms, has benefited by adding peanuts to the crops they produce. As generating profit continues to challenge rural America, some farmers are finding new ways to achieve economic stability. Don Self, who owns and operates Self Farms with his family, says growing peanuts practically helped save the farm. They started growing peanuts in 2007 and now sell to a company who buys the peanuts and markets them to be used in peanut butter and candy bars. Self says one of the perks of growing this crop is the short commute required to deliver peanuts to the buyer. Birdsong peanuts put in a, a, a buying point in Aberdeen about 15 miles from here out in what we call Prairie, Mississippi a few years back and it really, uh, it really did help all the farmers in North Mississippi instead of us having to take our peanuts 300 and something miles. We take them 15 now and it allows us to pick late in the afternoon. We can take a truck before we had to stop to get a truck load. It has really helped us more than we could ever say. Self grows the Georgia 06G variety, also known as the runner peanut. Peanuts grow best in sandy soil and Self Farms plants them from seed between late April to mid-May and harvest in October. Self says he determines when it's harvest time by stopping every hundred yards and checking peanuts by scraping the shell. If the shell is white below the surface and the peanut inside is bronzed colored, the crop is ready. Harvesting is a two-part process. Producers first use inverters to turn peanuts out of the ground. After drying for a few days, they're picked up with a combine. Don Self's father, Dennis, explains why the family decided to start planting peanuts. Cotton had just run its course and the price had gotten so low and the yield had gotten so weak because we didn't practice proper crop rotation that we wasn't making any money out of the crop at all. So we discovered peanuts as an alternative. And of course, peanuts like cotton or any other crop, you've got to rotate them in order to get the maximum production out of them. One of the most important reasons to rotate between crops in the field is to avoid plant disease settling in the soil and contaminating plants. Therefore, self farms usually divides the fields into thirds between peanuts, cotton and corn and rotates every three years. Mississippi State University Extension Service plant pathologist Dr. Alan Hen says currently the worst disease is known as southern stem rot. Everybody loves a peanut because peanuts are so nutritious. They have lots of protein and they have uh, lots of good flavor and taste. And so diseases are no exception to that. Uh, diseases flock to peanuts. So working as a plant pathologist working on peanuts, I'm in seventh heaven because there's lots of diseases that go to peanuts. But probably the worst disease in our state right now uh, is uh, white mold, which causes a disease of peanuts called southern stem rot. And the reason it can be so bad is because of these little resting structures that you see in this uh, petri plate right here. You see these little round dots that kind of look like large BBs. And those can last for years in the soil. And they have over 644 different hosts. So even if you've got a couple weeds, there's probably a good host in there. They tend to replicate in and you need long periods of rotations, at least three years between peanuts and a crop uh, a following crop of peanuts. Furthermore, Dr. Hen says it's important not to add any crop to a rotation that's been known to host this disease. We like to rotate to poorer hosts of this disease and uh, that is one of the reasons that soybean is not such a good rotation crop for peanuts and that this disease of white mold will go to soybeans and reproduce very well on soybeans, not do a whole lot of damage to them, but then when you plant peanuts after that, 
you have a lot more white mold there than you did prior to planting soybeans. Dr. Hen says potential signs of southern stem rot include wilting at the top of the plant as well as peanut shells that are empty or only contain a white residue. Part of the reason for the growing success of the Mississippi peanut industry can be attributed to the Mississippi Peanut Growers Association and the National Peanut Board. Don Self says it's been a privilege serving on both boards, which are dedicated to enhancing the production, research, marketing, distribution, and utilization of peanuts. He says a small percentage of growers' earnings are what help fund this mission. One percent of off the top comes to the National Peanut Board in a, in a form of funds and we take it back and educate people and promote peanuts in places where you wouldn't think that it should be. Like in the Culinary Institute of America, I just got back from out there and, and uh, people are just now learning like they do in, in a, a lot of places like in China and Japan and Vietnam, how good a peanut is in the center of the plate. Instead of being a side dish, it's used in dishes in the center of the plate. Right. like in salads and in, in uh, like a chicken with peanut crust on it. In addition, Don Self says one of the goals in promoting peanuts is to market and export peanuts on an international level. Furthermore, Mississippi Peanut Growers Association and National Peanut Board members host meetings, conferences, and even visit schools to educate students and teachers about how peanuts are grown as well as their nutritional value. Don Self says his personal aspirations for the future are to teach his grandchildren about the importance of agriculture and inspire them to carry on the family legacy. That would be my goal, you know, that they would come up and take a, a interest in agriculture and, and, you know, feed the world like we do. If you have a child or a young person that has an interest in agriculture, I would ask that you steer them towards that. You make them stewards of our land. Get them off the video games and let them know that this is where stuff comes from. If they want to go out and dig in the dirt, encourage them to dig in the dirt. I want them to know that bacon comes from a pig. I want them to know that peanuts grow underground. Somebody's got to feed this country. And if we don't teach them how to do it, who does? As promotion of the Mississippi peanut industry continues, Don Self and his family say they hope to see demand increase for this food product. Self claims that getting into the peanut business did seem risky, but some chances are worth taking when you have the right information and resources. From Hamilton, Mississippi, I'm Amy Taylor reporting. You can watch this story on Mississippi Peanuts on the Farm Week website, Facebook page, or YouTube. The website address is farmweek.msucares.com. We'll have a link where you can contact the Mississippi Growers Association and register for their annual meeting next February in Hattiesburg. Peanut growing advice is available from the Mississippi State University Extension Service.